Kona, Kona, my microphone wasn't working. Kona, I did. I waited just for you. I promise. I promise it was all for you. I took Finny Winnie on a walk and then ate my lunch and now I've started streaming. It was all for Kona. As everything is, naturally. Okay, let's get my notepad, my pen. Uh, let's check this. I'm just cleaning up my desk. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Serotonin Bears. Yes, a double weekend stream. Uh, just uh, not, not up to much this weekend, so why not? And also, Blue Moon Canyon. Oh my god, my headphones just disconnected. Um, also, this is a great game, so I'm keen to get back into it. I need to sort my headphones out. No. Stop disconnecting. It's bad. Bad behaviour. Connect. And now I can't hear the game, so I'm going to have to restart it. Such a baby. Such a baby game. Just cleaning up my desk. I've just got so much rubbish on here. I'm just moving everything before I before I let you see it. Let you see me. Okay, let's do this. Okay, hi Pogo, sorry, just distracted. We'll get started in a minute. Do do I can't believe the weekend's basically over for me. Tragic. Ah. Okay, let's get going. Which one? Which one flips it? There we go. There I am. Let's get it. Train. Okay. What was I actually doing though? <laughs> that is the question. Oh yeah, I I Check. know the name of the engineer. I did the dolls. Finish that. Check. Okay. We need to get the eagle. We need to get this open, I think. Okay, the game's a little bit loud for me. I hope it's okay for you guys, but it's a bit loud for me. So let's just... Uh... You see the window into my... My volume control. Okay, let's see how that is. Back already? Yeah, that's good. See you soon. If you need anything, just let Kona. us know. Kona. I love this game. Also, in your face, I got the name of the engineer. More questions? Well, I'll let you go. That would be nice. Okay, so we need. We've got that. Oh, we might actually be able to make the eagle. We've got. I think we've got enough slugs. Right. 
Run, run, run. As, as I said yesterday, you would never catch me jumping between the carriages like that. This mystery would not be solved. <laughs> okay, the eagle is two. Okay, I did have that written down. Do we have enough slugs? No. We actually need six. But what's this? We can probably make this. I don't know why that would be useful, but we probably could. <laughs> We need to get the jewel off this. Glad you dropped in. Lori told me she'd given you a letter from Jake Hurley that says how to find his mine. I didn't mention it before because it's very bizarre. Because I don't want you Lori to have it. should have given that to me. I mean, I'm the trained professional around here. Let me take a look. <laughs> she just flings it on the desk. Uh, I've seen enough. Two words. Use less. Those are just the rantings of a guy who spent way too much of his life swirling mud around in Pandan in the hot sun. Five star nut job. Well, I agree there, but the letter does make sense. <laughs> exactly where it belongs. How come you told me you and Lori never went out, and she told me you did? Ooh, that's you ever get stop the gossip. Asking questions? I'm a detective. You know how it is. <laughs> I dumped her, okay? <gasps> I'm proud of what I did. I'm not happy about what I did, but it's done. It's over. Now let's drop it. Who is he to dump her? <laughs> like, she's not very smart, but she's a catch for him. He's the worst. If you didn't want to dump her, why did you? You are incredibly irritating, you know that? I yep. dumped her because... Because people said going out with her would make me look bad. Said she was a joke. No one took her seriously. As if he said that. With her, no one would take me seriously. So I stopped calling her. But you didn't stop caring. But you didn't <laughs> stop caring. No. Now take a powder. I don't feel like talking anymore. Still don't feel like talking. Oh, I wanted to confront him about the break. I should have done that first. Although he probably wouldn't talk to me anyway. Okay, so we opened that. up thanks for the chat come back anytime nobody's got anything else for me maybe i should speak to laurie we already did that it's locked how how does one open kona you just uh you just missed us saying your name kona you missed a lot of yelling of kona you missed some code breaking. No, I'm joking. There's no code breaking yet. What the heck is this? Kona! <laughs> it should just be Kona. Just a Kona chat. Every third word it must be Kona. Before you say anything, I just want to say thank you. For what? Tino came to see me. He said you'd made him realize what a jerk he'd been for dumping me, and then Yay. he out. Isn't that great? He I mean, he I think you should. What anybody else thinks? He thinks we make the perfect couple. Well, I can't argue with him there. So what do you want? I mean, that's kind of nice, but she should have some more self-respect. Guess you better get to work. <laughs> you go, girl. If somebody dumped me because they thought I wasn't good enough, even though she's like the heiress to a fortune as well. Like, come on. <laughs> she's leagues above Tino. Let's see if he'll talk to us now. Ah, I can't stay mad at a fellow detective. 
What do you need? Well, prepare to get mad again because I'm going to accuse you. Jackuse! You're the one who pulled that emergency brake, aren't you? <laughs> Me? <laughs> what are you joking? Oh yeah, the fl the packing materials Can are on the floor. Explain how packing material from the box those thermometers were in wound up on the floor over there? You're just like nobody. I don't have the best. The yeah, best. she's like right, she is like a Barbie. Need to do the other passengers, but unless you give me a good reason not to, I think I'll tell them anyway. Look, maybe I was a little hasty, pointing a finger mm. at the ghost guy like that. Maybe all those lies people have been spreading are starting to get to me. Maybe I thought it would help if I got a little positive press by solving a crime aboard a haunted train. Maybe I apologized. And uh, and maybe, maybe you could let me have that gem. On this room. Well, no harm done, I guess. Great. Well, what else can I do for you? You've been a big help. Don't mention it. I want the jewel from this, please. Like I'm not I'm not a big fan of Laurie to be honest. She you know, she she's not the brightest and also I don't think she even means that well. So I feel like if you're not that bright you should at least mean well. Oh, I already got the one from this, I think. Yeah. More questions? I'll touch bases with you later. That would be nice. No, no. Hey, how's it going? Were you able to find anything out about Jake's engineer? That James Thurston guy? Good news and bad news. The good news is he had a wife nice. in Copper Gorge, so he may have had children. The bad news is our internet service provider stopped providing before we could use our cell phones to find out anything else. That's okay. We can do more checking when we get to Copper Gorge. Right. Oh, we're actually going. Oh my god, my back is so itchy. <laughs> yeah, if they're bright and don't mean well, that they are dangerous. Yeah, Coda. That's true, but I don't think that applies to anyone on this train. <laughs> I think uh, nobody's bright. Okay, we're here. At Copper Gorge. You startled me. Do you work here? I do. Are you looking for someone? Uh, yes. Camille Hurley. She died back in the 1800s. Ah, Camille. Beautiful crypt. Wonderful view. Good drainage. Whoever buried her. If you're going to manage a graveyard of may crypts, I go inside it? you may. Don't be creepy. <laughs> Some life lessons this stream. I accidentally dropped the key down the grate that's in front of the crypt. If you can retrieve it, you can keep it. I'm having another one made. But if you do go into the crypt, just remember, you won't be alone. Why? Will you be there? <laughs> Are you going to follow me? And kill me? Oh, well, there's the key. Okay. I'm guessing we don't have anything right now. What's this? Uh oh. I just need to find something that key will stick to. Oh, okay, so I just need to put something on the end. It's not going to be like the final scene where I have to use old chewing gum, is it? Hey there! Welcome to Buell's Who the heck? Taffy House! Come on over here! Welcome, stranger! Listen, you by any chance get here on that private train what's parked out yonder? As a matter of fact, yes I did. Capitalism a is really the devil. Charlena Purcell's on board. Is that true? As a matter of fact, yes it is. Hot damn. Look at him. Don't beat off. Well then. every single book that gal. Look at them. Best writer whatever lived. Did she get off the I hope too? it's like final scene so you so. can see Cheeks McGee again. Oh, Lexi. Lena Purcell herself right here in Copper Gorge, breathing the same air as me. Hot damn. Well, welcome little Miss Cheeks McGee is too busy being half owner of that theater now Copper Gorge whilst you sample some of our delicious homemade salt water taffy look at him who did this to you so this is some kind of museum 
Why, it's the best kind of museum, sister. It's free. You can go I do like free museums. Your heart's content. At least you can till I close up. Are you Buell? Do I sound like a Buell to you? Sorry, the costume kind of, you know, threw me off. Oh, right. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm wearing this How? Buell is my great <laughs> It's grave. so big. This building used to be his general store. During the glory days back in the 1880s, he commenced a pawnbrokering. So the miners Copper Gorge was crawling with back then could raise some cash to pay for grub and tools and such. But pretty soon, the mining boom went bust. And there was Uncle Buell, stuck with a whole store full of junk. Only it wasn't junk to him. Debris from lost lives and broken dreams, what he called it. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. So he passed it on to his kin. My great granddad is the one who come up with the idea of turning the place into a tourist attraction. And I've never had taffy. What is it? I don't you even know what it is. By selling taffy? Tourists just love taffy. Especially when don't you know take a free sample in front of them to get them hooked. Of course, it ain't really free. Some taffy on a stick will cost you two tokens. Which you can get by winning both those games over there. Okay, taffy on a stick. That's how I'm going to get the key. How much does it cost to play them? Well, ain't you the little penny pincher. Fact of the matter is, they're free. Unless you go messing with I'm not rich I because I go here. around spending Do all my money on games. First in the nearest snow drift before you know what hit you. Mm hmm Okay. Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things in here? Jake who? Hurley. He was a miner. I think he may have left a lamp and a pickaxe with your great-great-uncle. Never heard of him. Of course, that don't mean his stuff's not here. Just means you're just gonna have to look around and see for yourself. But remember, Susie Q, don't touch. It's Nancy Drew. It was not Susie Q. You. Ditto, little missy. Okay. Taffy on a stick. Hey, maybe I could use this to fish the crypt key out from under that grate. Nancy, you read my mind. That they we play these games in the arcade. Okay, how do I? Oh, do I pick one? Number nine, go. Go on. Oh no. Okay, we're not we. Horrendous loser. Hmm. Pooey indeed. <laughs> I'm gonna be on red this time. Red seemed to no no. Red went out on a lead, which means that it's not going to be there. I swear to goodness. Why did the person I just and I lose? I put. I said they were going to win before. I'm going with red again. I'm not getting fooled this time. Go red! Oh no! <laughs> go red! Go! Go! No! I'm being scammed. Red again. I'm going red until red wins. <laughs> but red. <laughs> Why are red so bad? Yeah, literally, loser. Okay, I'm, I'm switching. Team yellow. Don't. <laughs> and I lose. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so much. It's just really tickled me. <laughs> Actual tears. <laughs> oh no! Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that made me laugh so much. I'm sorry. I could see the microphone being in the red because it was so loud. I'm, I can't. I'm never voting for red again. <laughs> I can't do that. Blue. I haven't voted for blue yet. And they won once. It's yellow, isn't it? Why is it always the person I just voted for? Uh, why? I'm being mugged off here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to wipe my eyes. One second, let me... Oh goodness, <laughs> it's too much for me. I don't know why that made me laugh so much. It killed me. Green, it's gotta be. That's why you never change color, I know. No! Okay, we're sticking with green then. I believe in green. I'm green. I think we need to win to get a token. Green! Green until I die! <laughs> yes! <laughs> my token <laughs> oh, that was that was emotional that was a struggle okay now what now what do you want me to do what what are the rules oh it's one of these do i just <gasps> Oh, I'm, am I the one on the right and I've got to get up the mountain? Oh no. Oh, I'm doing terribly. I'm guessing the donkey is like the only good thing. Well, that was terrible. How am I supposed to win this? Oh, let's just shoot them really far, at least, then. To try and get the donkey. Oh, no. Yahoo! Oh, no. I've got to set back. No! That's a scam. I'm being scamazed again. Okay, we did better that time at least. We've lost though. Oh, such a good start as well. We could be here a while. <laughs> We've got no donkeys. We're going. We're just shooting them all out. More donkeys. Okay, I think the dynamite sets them back, so that's not too bad. No, no snakes. 
No! Okay, we set them back. <gasps> okay. That's kind of fun. But I will never play it again. Please give me my free taffy. Looks like to get some taffy on a stick, I'm going to need two different tokens. Yes, I know. I just tortured myself live on stream. <laughs> this looks just like the insignia I saw on the train. <gasps> that this was Jake's trunk. If Ooh. this was his trunk, maybe the pickaxe and we the have this. that I inside. Well, you still here? Do you know what's in that old trunk over there? Why? You ain't been fooling with it, have you? Oh no, of yep. course not. <laughs> I you had an affair with it. it. Contain the lamp and a torrid affair. About before. Well, if it does, you can forget about them, because it's locked. None of my kin have ever been able to figure out how to open it. Not even my cousin Alvin. And he went to junior college. Would junior okay college, eh? Open it? Well, now, I certainly ain't gonna let you break it open if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no, I would never use force, believe me. But in order to try to get it open, I would have to, you know, touch it. Nope, sorry, not gonna happen, little missy. Unless. Unless? Tell you what. You get Charlene a Purcell to come in here so as I can shake her hand. Okay. And I let you fiddle with that trunk till the cows come home. I don't like the way she's talking about me touching this trunk. Uh, but yeah, okay. You know what? I've got a better idea. Now, what could be better than me coming face to face with the lady who writes the finest literature this Unless. year? Unless. <laughs> well, that's just it. If you were just <laughs> insert her, that you'd one that's like to show for it. <laughs> Afterwards, she'd go her way and you go yours and that would be it. But if you were to say get her autograph, well then you'd have something to hang on the wall and brag about. Okay. Make it so I can meet her and get her autograph. Oh, but the thing is, she's on a deadline, and if you take her away from her writing, she may fall behind. And if she falls behind, her publisher may pull the plug. And if her publisher pulls the plug, it could ruin her career. Do you really want to risk ruining Charlena Purcell's career? I do. Career? I don't like her. <laughs> I'll ruin her career. You just get me Charlena's autograph, and you got a deal. Just make sure she uses my name. I want it real personal like. You bet. And your name is? Fatima, with an F. None of that weirdo PH stuff. Okay, Fatima, I'll be right back. And then I'm allowed to fiddle with the trunk. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go, Kona. Slug, we can make the eagle. Copper. Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. Is it this? Oh, I do not know what this needs, though. Oh, okay, copper. What's copper? Pogo will know. <laughs> Somebody knows. That's lead. Zing. Iron. Silver and gold. It's got to be CE, right? Yeah. It's got to be. Green, red, purple, yellow, orange, blue. Pogo's helped me with these puzzles before. <laughs> and now it's Lexi. You're all too good for me. Red, purple, oh no, I've reset by accident, okay. Green, red, purple, yellow, orange, No, 
I need that. Charlie's back. Oh, Charlie. You missed me have a mental breakdown. <laughs> In the letter he wrote to his niece, Jake said she should go to Camille's grave and let Camille's goodness rub off on her. Rub as in rubbing, maybe? If like, I am take supposed a rubbing? to make rubbings of these pillars, I'll need a pencil, which I already have, and some nice thin paper. Okay. If there's a hidden message here, I'll never find it at this rate. Well, why would you carry a pencil and not paper, Nancy? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought it's not my fault? Of course she hasn't. More questions? I met a huge fan of yours in town who'd really, really like your autograph. An autographed picture would be even better. Imagine that. Me having fans way out here in the boonies. Well, I'm sure I have a picture around here somewhere. But what I don't have is a picture. Usually I just ask my sister. I'm surprised she agreed to do I it, to be honest. I have a pencil here somewhere. A pencil won't do, dear. It has to be ink. See if you can borrow a pen from somebody. Oh, the Hardy Boys aren't here. Can I not snoop on them? They're suspicious to me. Mmm, Kona, eat something delicious. Do you have a pen? What's up? I really, really need a pen. Could I borrow one from you? Sorry. Oh, is that it? No. Any longer. Goodbye. It's just a no from John Gray. It's not going to be Tino, is it? What's going on? Give me a pen. Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? Actually, I carry a pen. You don't know what I've well, been through, I've Tino. I've lots of pens. I tell you what, if you can play that Leaping Lizards game I found over there and do better than I did when I played it, which shouldn't be that hard seeing as how smart you are, I'll give you a pen. Oh no, I'm going to fail miserably. <laughs> Okay, the object of the game is to get rid of as many lizards as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. Last time I played, I wound up with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours. Oh no, I'm going to get embarrassed by Tino Valducci. I go to someone else, yeah. I'd go to anyone else. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to get absolutely shown up by him here. Yeah, look, that was terrible. Why did I do that? Why am I doing anything? <laughs> Why? Can I even make another move now? I'm so confused. Oh, I can here. Okay, this is kind of fun though, to be fair. <laughs> He's annoying, but he, he thinks of fun games.
I don't know which one's best now. Uh... <laughs> yeah. You lost. Guess you're not so smart after all. <laughs> I should have saved again. and not let this happen. That's kind sure. of fun though. So I'm not mad about it. If it wasn't Tino, I would not be mad at all. This looks good so far. How many did you say he had? He got left with five, so, did he say? So I'm I should win this, right? You lost again. No, One did I have to get time. less than four? Well sure. I thought it was five. But that was that was good. I think I made a good start. And now I have no idea how to replicate it. And now I'm lost again. <clears throat> At least it's a fun game to be doing, to be honest. It's better than Fox and Geese. Oh no, I think I made a mistake there though. Not a good line. Um. That's terrible. You lost again. One more time. No, we'll just keep going forever. Sure. I'm having a great time, to be honest. do that this is fun I want to play this all the time
I did it! I won! Yes! Here's your pen. I'm just gonna make it my headcanon that he took like 15 attempts to get five. What else can I do for you? Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Anything for a fellow detective. Can I play that again? That was fun. Or am I just am I stuck forever now? <gasps> I can play it whenever I want. This is the stream now. Leaping lizards. This is this is lame. <laughs> okay. We can get her to sign this thing now. It's not as dramatic stepping over the train cars when they're not moving. Less deadly. Not as fun. Oh no, here she is. Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? I got it from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say to Fatima, that'd be great. You know what? She's there gone up go. in my opinion because she didn't make me do anything except get her a pen, which is a very reasonable request to do a, to sign an anything autograph. Else? So I'll touch bases with you later. Fair I'm enough, Charlena. Nancy. Oh my god, they're walking! Oh, I don't like it. It's creepy. They are. have legs. We've been looking for you. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break. I don't like hey, it. Take them the back. Of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Guys, what's going on? Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner. Comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. And you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Good for Joe. The thing is, the owner <laughs> Why of the did it zoom? To point the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short oh, order cook. No. He's got to go home and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? Good for you, Frank. Oh, I've got to say it. Way to go, Joe. <laughs> hey, I can boil water. It's just that when Nancy. it's got things floating in it, I get confused. Speaking of confused, get this. Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge, so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Like that bumble brain's gonna find it. This is you. Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the train. Good thought. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. I like his dedication to cheeseburgers. Got that autograph? Got something better. An autographed picture. Hot thing! She spelled my name right and everything. Go ahead, little missy. Have a go at that truck. Whatever's inside, it's all yours. I'm guessing there's going to be an element on it, and we're going to need to this know. This indentation looks familiar. But, 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 
how which one but 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 which which element I need to match that shape I did match that shape hmm okay I don't know the code oh the pattern on the colors labeled PB how do we know Something that did it say did it say I'm done with that I'm done with that finish that still have to do that I'm done with that I'm done with that finish that still have to do that check finish that I'm done with that finish that I'm done with that check I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Wow. Finish that. I'm done with I'm done with that. We did a lot. Okay. Let's go and get the colors for PB. There we go. What? What is she, is she was Fati Fatima hammering it up? Plumbum. I'll take one plumbum, please. Green, blue, orange, yellow, purple. Okay. One plum bum for table three. Green, blue, orange, yellow. Well, here's Jake's lamp. Ooh, and a slug could come in handy. Well, it will definitely come in handy. But where's his pickaxe? <laughs> Welcome back. Have you by any chance ever come across a pickaxe that had the initials JH carved into it? Wow. Because it used to belong to Jake Hurley, and I really, really need it. I thought it would be in that old trunk, but it wasn't. You got that trunk open? Wait till I tell cousin Alvin. He thinks he's yeah. Him and his junior As college. Pickax, so happens I got it upstairs in my kitchen. Use it to open the coconuts Aunt Lucy sends me every year from Hawaii. Do you think I could have it? Why no, you can't have it. How would I open them coconuts? Fatima, please. Okay, I need the toilet. Brb. Your great great uncle. Do you really think Buell would approve of you using something that belonged to some poor miner to open coconuts? Oh, okay. I'll let you have the pickaxe. After you do something for me. The word plumbing is derived from plumbum, which is Latin for lead. Nice! I, I, I do like the word plumbum. <laughs> I think we should go back to it, to be honest. Also, sorry, I clicked the mouse and put dialogue on on the PRB screen. Okay. Uh, 
Here we go. I'm back. Sure. I got a bunch of taffy over there what needs sorting. Just follow the directions that are posted. No, I like it. I'm going to call it Plumbum. Get moving pretty fast, so you got to keep your wits about you. While you're doing that, oh, I'll no. fetch that pickaxe. Okay, let's move my water over there. I feel like I'm going to need the space. <sighs> okay, move the mic. I've got the sun in my eyes. You've got, if I have if to. I have to. <laughs> I'm reluctant. Okay. Wax paper for the taffy. Would you mind if I took a piece of wax paper? Yes, I could let you have a piece. So I can do the rubbing. Nice. Okay, let's start sorting taffy. This is gonna be really hard, isn't it? Okay, banana, mango, strawberry, apple, blueberry, grape, rejects. Oh my god. What is it? Mm. Oh no! That's gotta be grape. What is it? That's a reject. Get out of here, reject. Hey, if the detecting doesn't work out, Nancy's got a future here. Mm. What the heck is that? Oh. Oh, it was a reject. Those two types of rejects. I did it. Okay, that actually was not hard. <laughs> Can I have this taffy? Got that taffy sorted? No problem. Yeah, that, that was, was easy, easy as heck. You sneak any freebies while you were at it? It was pretty tempting, but nope, I sure didn't. I only thought about well, it. Ain't you the goody two shoes? Truth is, wouldn't have minded too much if you had, long as you fessed up to it. Here's the pickaxe. Cracked the handle pretty bad on the last batch of coconuts. You sure you want it? Positive. There you go. Don't hurt yourself. I won't. Thank you. Okay. Hello? Hey, it's Frank. Oh, I'm Frank. The of the diner <gasps> now I'm Frank. Cook. Has that grandchild of cooking games. I love Just cooking games. Lady, he's even older than he is. And get this. He's a retired Warmer. miner, so every time I finish an order and ring the pickup bell, he thinks it's the mine shaft elevator bell. And for some reason, it makes him start telling his lady friend about his grandfather. You mean you ring the bell and he starts talking about James Thurston? Convenient. Exactly. Course, five seconds later, he's rambling on about something totally unrelated, but I just fill an order, ring the bell, and ding, he picks up right where he left off. That is, Kona, we're making food. Come on. Eat more. She's got a voice like a what did you eat, Kona? Very distracting. Sounds like you better keep your ears open and your nose to the grindstone. I am just Yeah, so many people post. complain yeah, about the restaurant games right. that Serotonin bears. I can't wait till to Waverly Academy and uh, White Wolf for that reason. Volcano burger. Onions, jalapenos, hot mustard, bacon cheese. Oh no. I've forgotten already. <laughs> Onions. Oh no. Bacon, was it? Bacon. Jeez, okay. Bacon. Bacon. It's a bit wonky, but you know. Oh no, did was there something else? I got told off. Ooh, that Callie's got some voice on her, doesn't she? I did that. Oh, these are jalapenos. Okay. Hot mustard. I put pickles on there. 
bacon and cheese. I got to hold off on my first day on the job. So do you know what you want to order yet, Edna? I'm still looking. Artist. Did I tell you that my granddaddy was the engineer on a private train owned by one of the richest men that ever passed through Copper Gorge? Jake Hurley <gasps> was his name. Yes, sir, my, my granddaddy was Jake's private engineer for more than 25 years. Told my daddy that men don't come any crazier than Jake Hurley, or any nicer. Treated my granddaddy real well and told him stuff, real important stuff. Stuff he made my granddaddy swear okay, he hurry up. never forget. Stuff that my granddaddy told my daddy, and that my daddy told me. Why don't you get the egg salad, Edna? Eggs are back to being good for you, you know. Seems like just last yes, sir, Jake Hurley told my granddaddy things he never told another living soul. Not even his wife. I tell you about her, Edna. <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to do this and focus Camille on what he's saying? Camille Boulet. I am not 100% sure, Kono. I've seen the word cats up, but I don't really understand. She didn't take well to the heat, see? And sometimes in the summer, when they were going through the desert, why that fruit jelly? Anyway, Granddad said she got right up afterwards and seemed okay. But a couple hours later, Jake found her in her room, dead as a doornail. Now there's another expression that kind of makes you wonder. Dead as a doornail. How can something be dead if it was never alive to begin with? The way my granddaddy died, that was kind of strange. Okay. I ever tell you how my granddaddy died? No, I don't think you did. My daddy, he came home. Everything from school, minus the peas. My pickles, pickles, peanut butter, pineapple, mom, pickled herring. Okay. Dead in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada. He was in the engine of Jake Hurley's train, just kind of slumped Everything. over with his hand still on the throttle. The strange thing is. Nobody else was on board the Oh no, I already put that on. The door to the engine was locked Trash. and barred. It was like Granddad uh, was trying to keep pickles, someone out. Pickles. Like he was running from cheese. something. Like something finally scared him so bad his heart just stopped him. Of course he was in his 60s at the time. And back then that was old. <laughs> Doesn't seem so old now, does it, Edna? Here I am pushing 93 and still spry as a spring chicken. Spring chicken! Now where do you suppose that expression came from? Why not spring goose or summer chicken? Ah, life's just one puzzlement after Google it, Kona. Cuts up versus ketchup. Let us all know. Bacon. That's gonna be disgusting, but I ever tell you about the mine my grand Yeah, it's disgusting. He found a mine. A couple years Jeff's before choice. Died, Granddad told my daddy that Jake I, found a vein in the mountain. This is my choice. And was mining it all by himself, so no one would steal it out from under him. He wouldn't even tell Granddad where the mine was. What he'd do is have Granddad drive the train real slow, so he could jump off without Granddad. <laughs> yes, it is. Hi, Ignis. No, we're we're working as a cook, so we could overhear this old man they talk about his. Crazy Jake no, I take the pickles off. Of crazy. You see how much Abner's charging for a haircut at that shop of his now? Twenty I'm listening to this old man talk about his grandfather's gold mine so I can try and find the location. Yeah. Nobody else. Eventually my dad, he told me, and it was so bizarre that I remember it. Okay, I don't need to cook anymore cuz I can't get out of this. Get ready to write this down. But since my daddy didn't tell me not to tell anybody, this is what crazy Jake Hurley told Granddad. Word, word for word. word. Okay. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Ah. Uh. by a soft arm is ensnared. I'm still on Zircon. At the foot of the mare. No. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. Frank, are you sure that's what he said? Okay, I got some of that. Cuts and, ke and ketchup. Oh, he said it was for use for any change to do with ketchup. However, ketchup. No, it's ketchup. Oh, in in. I think actually I called it tomato sauce. Uh, for a long time. <laughs> uh, 
some of that. Yeah, that surely some of that is going to be good sure enough for this puzzle. Look, this guy was old, okay? I mean, we're talking Jurassic. And guys that old don't joke around. They don't have time to. What you just heard is what I heard, word for word. Got anything else? I almost forgot. You got to check this out. Oh, it's just an old Much appreciated. Letter. Thank you. you thank you for disconnecting all the time. Samuel Clemens. Oh Ooh. gosh. Where'd you get this? I found it in the caboose. Apparently he and Jake were pen pals. Wish I had a famous writer for a pen pal. Uh okay. When Joe gave it to me, I about flipped. I know I should turn it over to Lori, and I will. No. But it's just so darn cool. I still don't see what the big deal is. I mean, it's not like it's from Mark Twain or anything. What? <sighs> see you later. You Goodbye, Joe. Us. Oh, okay. Let's see what else we can tick off. Oh, we need to go and make the check. The rubbings with the paper finish that check 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 i'm sure she'll have written it in her diary here yeah she nancy wrote it down for me tourmaline um soft just so i don't have to keep getting this up ensnared Peridot. Okay. Let's go and rub <laughs> rub the wall of an old of a dead woman. How does she know which bit? Nancy's too smart for me. She knows which bit to rub. This is not me. It's all Nancy. Wisdom, eternity, charity. And... Purity. Wisdom, charity, purity, eternity. Mm, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm done with that. Check. Haven't done. Can't check. Okay, out. I haven't seen everything in her crypt apparently. Oh yeah, I Something did open that. In here. I already got that. P B. P B. C U. Hmm. Are we missing something? Was it just that? Because I didn't actually click on them. Check. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hmm. How many gems do we have? We have three. No, four. And we know where another one is. We just can't get it because Tino's in the blooming way. But they said Tino was Tino wasn't here right now. He, they said he was hiking up the mountain, so we should be able to go and get that jewel. And John Gray, so we might be able to play the piano as well, which is like one of the first things we got, and we haven't been able to do it. Okay. C, D, E, F, G. Okay. 
I think that was right. Okay, yeah, it was. <laughs> a spyglass. I'll bet it's the one I need for Jake's projector. Nice. Nice. Can I have a look at his equipment? No. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Okay, let's have a look. We can make the eagle now too, but what was the fifth one? Was it a bell? It was like a broken bell maybe. Yoink! So we need to make... Yeah, that's a bell. Twelve with five of these. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, it's maybe six. Minus four. Mm. I'm never sure if it's like minus or plus. Or maybe that's not one, maybe it's just this. Okay, we need to make two. But with six of them. Uh. Woo, okay, we should have opened the eagle painting now. That's in the one with the Hardy Boys. Ah, where am I? Where am I? Here we go. Here we go. More pipes. Why am I not surprised? Oh, I don't. I like the pipes, but not when they move about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no! I do not like that. Stop it! Oh my god. <laughs> Stop this nonsense. Oh, okay, that's gotta be like that anyway, so that's fine. There, that looks right. Okay, what's that done? I've done a couple of them. Finish that. I'm done with that. Finish that. Finish that. Finish that. So satisfying. I'm done with that. Still have to do that. Okay, we're missing one gemstone. I really hoped it would be behind this painting, to be honest. Hey, how's it going? Talk to you later. You better. So many, I know. <gasps> Making good progress. I really, we've got one gemstone.
missing, I think. Unless I'm just bad at counting. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I don't think we need to do that anymore. For now, anyway. Okay. I said to put the axe where it was. In the diagram. So we've got the map. This is where a gemstone goes. I need to find the gemstone that goes here. Fixed on a star. So maybe it's that, but it's a starfish. Eye of the tiger. Is that this one? Oh! On the mare is the per peridot, which is, I know that those are green. Oh. Is this the one I already did? Yeah. From arm floats amethyst. Maybe that. The train was chewing, chew chewing previously. Uh, we've just stopped at a location where we think the mine might be. We were chew chewing before. Maybe we'll chew chew again. I think this has got to be citrine. I do not know jewels well enough for this. I know there's that book, but I don't want to go and look at it. Hmm. Fingers that scar. Well, I mean, what is this? I haven't put everything where it needs to be anyway, but uh, they shall choo choo again one day. Jake said a pickaxe goes here. Okay. Those look like steam pipes. All right, we've got the pickaxe where it needs to be. keeps disconnecting hopefully that's fixed uh game seems to have a fascination with pipes it has had a bit of a fascination with pipes i i will not lie oh okay jake said a lamp goes here do i have a lamp oh i do i do okay looks like that goes there if i had a spyglass i'd put it right here and i have this here Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? There's still water in it, which means it must be out of carbide. There, it should work now. Okay, we've got the carbide. Yes, I think it is a projector, because I think we've got a map here, and I think it's going to put a light or something on the location, and that's the mine. I just, how do we get it started? Oh no! Oh no! What I need is some duct tape. Still broken. You could pull that. Okay. 
I love these games, but when you're about to do like the end of a grand puzzle and something goes wrong like that, it boils my blood, it does. <laughs> Up. Thanks, Kona. I actually am incredible at ventriloquism. <laughs> I'm trying to get it working again. It says no. Okay. It's the old unplug it and plug it back in strategy. Hey, and it worked. <laughs> I hear Tino took you and Lori for a little hike today. Don't remind me. Turns out Tino had no idea where he was thank going. Thank you, thank you. I, I am um, I'm, I'm an IT expert. Stiff. Otherwise, I would have strangled him. Would you by any chance have any duct tape? Got some right there in my gearbox. That's the good news. The bad news is I can't open the box. It's an antique lock box that I found in this abandoned monastery I scoped out on my show <laughs> last year. You can open it with either the key, which I just discovered I forgot Smash to bring it. with me, or the combination, which you're supposed to be able to figure out just by looking at the box. Fortunately, I didn't put anything critical in there. I've never tried to open it. Drop without, it on the floor and stamp on it a few times. Go ahead and give it a shot. Thanks. I think I will. If you get it open, the duct tape's all yours. There's an image on each of those buttons. They tell a story, maybe? I bet the animals should start from the left shore. My face right now. Oh, okay. Do you press them in order then, I guess? So I'm guessing this one's the first one where they're all going to be taken to the shore. But I bet it's like that... um. That story about how like you can't leave the peacock alone with the like whatever the predator because then they'll eat it. It's like an old riddle. That one. That one. That one, that one. Uh, <laughs> me just like there. That cute angry face. Thank you for calling it cute and not hideous. <laughs> I can't remember what order I just did. I can't remember the last one I just collected. So now it's... Woohoo! <laughs> duct tape it is. Why would you put duct tape in here? Please? Please no. Um, the handle. There, good as new. Well, sorta. Nothing happened. Hmm. This contraption is obviously powered by something, but what? Steam. Yeah, one roll of duct tape, exactly. How convenient. Okay, maybe I got the jewels wrong as well. That is also very likely. Uh...
Let's go and learn about jewels. <laughs> Tino's back. Okay, amethyst. Yeah, we got that right. Citrine. Oh, I definitely got the eye of the tiger wrong then. Citrine is the is the foul mouth. Citrine shiny yellow shiny yellowy orange i guess not shiny brown okay convenient that this book also has pictures of the ones we need and drawings of the ones we don't need <laughs> hmm Tourmaline, soft arm instead. Okay, tourmaline. Goes green and pink. I did, I did, Kona. Oh, we don't need these, I was wrong. There you go. Peridot, there, that's it. I knew that one. I was wrong. I take it back, game. Ruby Zircon and then Zircon's the the another one we've got, is it? But we don't have this one, I don't think. But there was only five, I think. In the rhyme. In the letter to his niece, Jake said that the four words that I found in her crypt had to be translated into numbers and used in combination. That sample sampler equates icons that numbers, so maybe <gasps> Okay. And then there was that combination lock. We're doing this before the jewels. So we, what we had was... No. This. All the gasping, yeah. It's all coming together. Wisdom, eternity, charity, purity. So... If maybe those words are going to be on he in this. Okay, it's a, there's a book on the. Oh, wisdom. Where's wisdom? Tell me. Who has wisdom? Owl. Eternity is crown. Charity is a dove. Purity is a half. It's just all coming together. And then they, there should be numbers. An owl is seven. A crown is six. A dove is nine. And a half is three. Seven, six, nine, three. Maybe. <laughs> uh, no, not this one. We've done this one. Train Monopoly. Yeah, this is a, a very convoluted puzzle. It's been irrelevant for like six different puzzles. Okay. I'm not sure the order on the words, but this one made the most sense. No. <laughs> We're wrong. We're just wrong. Okay. 
so I would try d dog. <laughs> Always dog. Just eight. Eight, 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 eight. Wisdom. How do I know which one's first? Charity, pure. Maybe it's the in the, this order: wisdom, charity, purity, and eternity. One. Two. Okay, let's try this order instead. Wisdom. Oh, so they they want to go like wisdom, charity, purity, eternity. It's not. That's not how I roll. And we're still wrong. <laughs> okay, maybe this isn't the right lock. Maybe it's the wrong lock. Or maybe I got the wrong numbers. That's that's also possible. Bess, help. <laughs> Bez. Hey Nan, listen, I'm dying to know. What's it like to finally work with Frank and No, Joe no, no. Hardy? I want a hint. Oh, Bess, you're incorrigible. Hey, if you don't want to hear, just go over there and don't listen. She's listening. Let's so let's I... just make up a rumor about Joe. Me, I, think Joe has <laughs> I don't think Joe has a crush on anyone. Figures. I thought you liked Joe. I've always thought he was cute. Personality-wise, Frank's more my type. Well, the real question is which one does Nancy like? Ooh, yeah. Which one do you like? <laughs> oh my god, you can actually choose. <laughs> and then you can say I like Ned. I'm not going with that option, even though we do love Ned. Which hardy boy should we choose? Frank, the one who's a bit more serious, or Joe, the one who loves cheeseburgers? I think cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, poor Ned. But, um... I just want to see what happens. Yeah, he's the best boy, but I want to I want to see what happens. Frank's a bit too serious. Uh, also, actually, I think we should say Joe because Frank has a crunch, crush on Nancy. So if we say Joe, it's going to cause chaos. The most chaos. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like Joe. <laughs> No, I am a sucker for chaos. Anything, Tim, are you? Me? My lips are sealed. <laughs> the way they were when I told you that I liked that boy who worked at the snack shop, that was different. How was it different? I was younger then and had less self-control. Nancy said, Ned who? Right. Don't worry, Nance. If she starts to say anything to Joe, I'll just stomp on her foot. Ow! Hey, what'd you do that for? Just practicing. Okay. Who's Give me a hint. A hint? You bet. Self control is overrated. The, g the game let me choose chaos. And so I did. Uh... There's a panel in the sleeping car that I'd like to open, but it's got a four digit tumbler lock on it. How can I get it open? Maybe those four digits have something to do with the four words that Jake said Camille had taken with her to her. Grave. I know, I Maybe have that. Are. Wisdom, charity, purity, and eternity. Okay, okay, I've clearly Great. got the wrong numbers then. All I have then. to do is figure out how to translate them into numbers. That sampler hanging in Camille's car translates images into numbers. <laughs> so maybe what you need to I find know. is something that translates words into images. Know what I'd do if I were you? I'd go to Camille's I know, car I've done this. I'm just bad and okay, I've got it so wrong. You're welcome a bunch. Goodbye. I can't believe I just had to say which Hardy boy I like. And the only other option was to say, but what about Ned? Let's make sure I got the dove right. Is that an owl? Or is there a different owl? It's got to be an owl. Seven...
dove. Harp. Yeah, it's got to be. It does look owly. It looks more owly than anything else, anyway. Let's make sure I wrote the right words down, then. Purity. Harp, yeah. Eternity. Crown. Wisdom. The owl. Charity. The dove. And I can't see anything else I could have confused those with. Wisdom, charity. Purity. Eternity. Six. So that, yeah, I think it should be seven, nine, three, six. Did I put that in last time? Honestly, who knows? <laughs> okay. One more try before I give in. Why? Why? What else could it be? Am I missing something? Well, oh, let's see what the letter said. Maybe that'll tell me. Four words for you. It doesn't say anything about the order. Hmm. Am I supposed to connect some pipes in here? <laughs> I'll connect some pipes if you want me to. Maybe tr try a different order, but there's so many different possible combinations. That's, the, that's it in reverse. <laughs> um. I'm cheating. <laughs> what is the code? Um Let's have a look on the her interactive message boards. Seven nine six three it should be apparently. Okay. Thank you, message boards. And naturally, we have still more pipes. I told you I would, I would do it. I, if, if, you, if you insisted, I would connect pipes.
should do it. Nice. What have I achieved? <laughs> As always, what have I done? Check. I'm done with that. Can't check that off yet. Check. Check. Finish that. Check. 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 Okay. Now let's go and put the jewels in the right order. But also I think something else might be stopping it from not working. Because it wouldn't put it in my task list to figure out what was wrong. I, I'm i just looking into the game. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm going to take that back. <laughs> so... The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. I think that's the starfish. Uh... Zircon lies in fingers that scar. But I don't think we have this one. <gasps> Enjoy carrying furniture. Oh my goodness. You're strong. Kona's strong. Have a great time, Kona. Thank you for watching. You're so cute. Amethyst. Oh, I did not know what an amethyst was. Oh, it, well, I didn't write that one down because I knew what it was. It's the purple one. Uh, floats in a hand from the deep. So that's the tentacle, I think. Tentacle. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall foul, as in a bird. The bird mouth. The beak. The bird mouth. Um, tourmaline by a soft R. Mm. Tourmaline could also be that tentacle. My right elbow has been hurting for four months. I'm sure this is great. Yeah, it's good. It's only going to help, I think. Okay. Stupid sun. Okay. Um, soft arm. Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. We know that one. That's a hoof. That's the hoof. I don't know what this is. Some, some kind of fin. Okay, that's the the uh, the beak is citrine, but we haven't got it because I've put it somewhere else. Okay, let's just go and take them all out. Ah, <gasps> that's a claw. Fingers that scar. That's zircon, which we do not have. Tiger's eye, the starfish. That's right. Amethyst, tentacle. It's gotta be. Beak. Or is that Zircon? They kind of both look the same. I think once we get the last one we'll be sure. I 
I think this one's got to go here. Yeah, it does look like a fin, but I'm not really sure how it connects to any of the puzzles. Okay. We've done what we can. We're looking for a last... Where the heck could it be? I don't think I have any puzzles left in my tick my to-do list. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? How about a hint? You bet. I still don't have all the gemstones I need. Help. Help. If you head into the dining car, you'll probably see the light. As long as things are looking up, you will. Okay, thanks. Is it a in bunch. the chandelier? You're a bunch. Goodbye. Okay. The, uh, the one that we put in for Citri might be Zircon, so we need to see what this one looks like. Always look at the chandelier. I know, there's always got to be something hidden. It's like I've never played a game before. <laughs> there is. Ooh. What is it? No, I think it, that's Zircon. All the way down the train. Bye, Kona. Kona. Time to cry, cause Kona's gone. Okay, so Zerk on his fingers that scar. That's got to be the bird talons. Nothing happened. The jewels must not be in the right place. <gasps> okay. I think that one's for sure. There are some that I'm not Nothing sure about. Happened. The jewels must not be in the right place. Are you gonna do that every time Nothing I check, happened. Nancy? The jewels must not be in the right place. That one's hundred percent right, so I'm not moving it. Nothing happened. The jewels must not be in the right place. Uh okay. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. And maybe maybe those are the only two that I think could be mixed up. Tourmaline and Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Oh no! Like I did something Ooh, right. Okay. Now will it work? Or I think there might be something else because it wouldn't put it in my list, I don't think. Hello, Finny Winnie. Hello. What are you doing? You're here to see me. Brush's boy. But you can see the top of his ear there. <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, he's so cute. I don't think you can see him though, but he is very cute. Ah, oh, you're sitting by my feet. Thank you. Thank you, cute baby. We're gonna have to shut the door though. Well, so we've got the gems in the right order, at least. Check. Still have to do that. Hmm. Why could nothing be happening? Maybe we should talk to someone. 
they did go on that expedition. Yes? I hear Tino took you and John on a trek to Jake's mine. Jake's mine, my eye. We went tramping through the snow, lugging <laughs> all this equipment John insisted on bringing, and Losers. then we ended up at this teeny tiny, half rotten, tumbled down outhouse. He led you to an outhouse? Well, he said it was the opening to a mine shaft, but then John said if it was, shouldn't the hole be going into the mountain instead of just down? So they stood there arguing until Tino finally grabbed a shovel, went inside, and started digging. What he found was definitely not gold. Oops. <laughs> Did he apologize? Of course not. If he didn't have such nice eyes, the man would be a total zero. We'll talk some more later. He is a total zero. Maybe I should look at the plans. Top view. Closed. What's this? I can't see anything else to click on. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? How about a hint? You bet. That contraption of Jake's that's supposed to show me where his mine is. I can't figure out where it gets its power. Any thoughts? If you look at it so close, cute, Finny. you'll see that there are pipes running out of it toward the front of the train. Those are steam. Oh. And if you check out the front of the dining car, you'll find oh. a wheel. Turn to the right and steam will start flowing toward the car where Jake's projector thing is. But in every car in between, including the dining car, I have fixed the pipes. pipes in it. You have to open each compartment and line the pipes up so steam can flow through them. But be careful, because if you turn the steam on in the dining car and you haven't chained all the pipes in the other cars together yet, come I home. have. All right. Thanks for the tip. No biggie. Take that was care. a very in-depth tip. <laughs> That was that was the most clear any Nancy Drew tip has ever been. Perhaps too in depth. <laughs> I knew what they meant from the first sentence. He's such a cute dog, aren't you? I love you. I love you, baby. Looks like some sort of steam valve. Sounds like steam from the engine is moving through those pipes now. Now all the way back down we go. Let's do it. Yay, green's good. And we have lift off. <gasps> Sit back and enjoy this masterful cutscene. Let's 
It's pretty cool, to be honest. <laughs> I like that. Brimstone Canyon. That's where Jake's mine is. Brimstone Canyon. Why didn't they call it the last train to Brimstone Don't Canyon? Don't you look all excited. <laughs> What's up? I think I know where Jake's mine is. Tell the engineer to head for a place in Nevada called Brimstone Canyon. Way to go. I knew you could do it, Francie. Thank Not you. Francie, Nancy. Here's the deal. When we get there, I'm going to make sure that you get to be the first one to check out the mine. I'll call everyone together in the dining car, and while we're in there, you slip off the train. Will ten minutes be enough of a head start? That'd be great. Think of it as your reward. Of course, okay. anything you find in the mine is, well, mine. So oh, if I you're find so out that you've taken something without telling me, let's just say things could get ugly. I won't oh, get God. your hopes up too high. <laughs> The mine might be totally worthless. She's gonna you know. slap me with her I beret. Know, but I have the feeling that thanks to you, we are about to discover something huge. Great job, Amy. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, this must have taken days. I would not want to be on the train for days with any of those people. It sounds like the train's leaving. Where's it going? Well, Frank and Joe will make sure it comes back for me. I hope. <laughs> yep, just abandoned in the desert. That's fine, I'm sure. Uh, we're gonna have to set this off, aren't we? Oh no, that's gotta be the entrance to Jake's mine, but it's totally blocked by boulders. Okay, where's where's a cannon? Not a lot for me to look at. Which isn't inspiring feelings of confidence because I have no idea what to do. Okay. Can I just... Use taffy? <laughs> Light it with taffy? Jack, still have to do that. Way to move the rocks. <laughs> We're looking it up. <laughs> I'm not doing this for long. Last train to Brimstone. Mm-hmm. Where's the cannon? Oh, it's yeah, you've just gotta do these clips. Okay. I would never have got that. Can't 
Kaboom! You might want to back up, Nancy. Um, that's going to be about a bit loud. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you not move? Okay. Oh, right. This is the entrance to Jake's mine. Whoa, what's going on here? Jake's color wheel seems to be pointing toward purple. Wow, glowing lizards. Cool. Okay. But weird. Red. Yellow. Purple. Yep, I'm sure this is trustworthy and fine. <laughs> Wait, which way? Wonder what that's doing there. Oh no, there better not have been many some of them. some kind of chamber on the other side of those poles. But if I move the wrong one, the ceiling will collapse. Jake was too meticulous not to have left a clue somewhere as to how you're supposed to move them. I wonder if it has something to do with that symbol I saw before. Yeah, there's clearly an order to this. Uh which I don't intend to look go back for. <laughs> I've seen that symbol before. Oh, I don't like this. I want to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see what happens. <laughs> Worth it. I'm using a guide. I don't want to go back. Okay, so far so good. Five. You could fit through there, Nancy. Come on. I should be able to get through there. Yeah. Now. You should have been able to ages ago. Oh Jake dear. Hurley, I presume. <laughs> Hi, I've seen your train. Big fan. Camille. It figures he'd be carrying a picture of her. Hmm, there's something underneath it. Looks like a letter. April 14th, 1865. Believe me, Jake, my boy, I can think of nothing more pleasant than touring the West aboard your private train, but much as I would like to accept your invitation, the duties and responsibilities of my office forbid it. I cannot leave Washington until this terrible war is over and the states are united once more. 
I would scarcely leave my office at all these days. Your humble friend's aid. Were it not for Mary, tonight, at her insistence, I will be accompanying her to the Ford Theatre to see a comedy called Our American Cousin. <laughs> oh no. Have you seen it? Mary assures me that I'll enjoy it, despite the fact that for some strange reason I've never felt at ease when at the theatre. Perhaps tonight things will be different. Write to me soon. Your missives never fail to boost my spirits. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is from uh, Abraham Lincoln. And April 14th is the day he was assassinated. This letter must be worth a fortune. That's just what I thought too. Oh no. See what I didn't tell you when I gave you that letter Jake wrote to Ruth is that I also found his diary. Which is how I found out he'd gotten to be friends with President Lincoln. And that he'd gotten a letter from Abe that he knew would be so valuable someday that he always kept it on his person. Can I have it? Sure. See, I knew if we could just find yeah. his body, we'd No, find it's real. And you did it, Amy. You did Abe it. did it I'm just for this famous. game. Good famous for once. So you never really cared about finding Jake's mine? Nah. I mean, it would have been nice if it was filled with gold and silver and stuff. But this is what I was really after. And you followed me because you didn't trust me? I trusted you to You know find what? It. Fair I enough, Laurie. This is the media's fault, not you. And now that you have? Her desperate need for attention really, really was caused by the press. I say I found this all by myself. But even if I got you to lie for me, how do I know you'd keep lying? Oh my gosh. What if there was like this cave-in and we were Okay, now it's your fault. I was the only one who made it out. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Oh my gosh, that way I could not only say that I found the letter, but that I tried to save you. Only you did something stupid. You did, Pogo, you I did. did to save myself. Oh my gosh, I'd make the national news. For sure. <laughs> okay, Laurie, I was on your side, but now um and resourceful and courageous even. Laurie, you can't be serious. That's crazy. You don't understand. People are finally going to respect me. I have to do this. Sorry. Sorry. The opening's blocked. I'm trapped. Now how am I going to get out of here? I don't know. Chill with Jake for a bit. Maybe I could get out of here in this. Okay, this is like the only bit I remember from the the first time I played. I don't know. This is not going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. This seems fine. You have to decide which way to go. So right, right, so right again, right, right, right. A left's got to be coming up, yeah. Oh, I, I, I have not played. Oh my god, I almost missed that. I remember playing one Scooby-Doo game that was like a mystery or haunted theme park, but it was too scary for me. I did not get very far. I was a child. But it would probably still be too scary for me, to be honest. <laughs> I hate that I'd have to start over if I got get it wrong now. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, we ran her over. <laughs> Good. <laughs> she lost her leg that day. Hey, are you all right? Nancy, is everything okay? It is now. As soon as we discovered you and Lori weren't on the train, we jumped off and hightailed it back here. What the heck's going on? I'm sure Lori will be glad to tell you all about it. Darn you, Natalie. It's Nancy. Dear Hannah, <laughs> some host as Lori Gerard turned out to be. 
when her father heard that she'd tried to seal me up in that mine, he canceled all <laughs> her credit cards. What's well, so up, you loser? Gloria will have to support herself. She has yet to stop crying. Whatever, you know, Luther. Told <laughs> that he knew what Lori was up to all along and said he let Frank, Joe, and me solve the case so we amateurs could enjoy his limelight. Joe was just about to belt him when a big argument broke out between John Gray and Charlena over whether John had really recorded Camille's ghost. She started calling him a crackpot, and then he started calling her a hack. Then, well, let's just say that both Sarah are Preston true. Was no longer interested in what Tino had to say. As for Jake Hurley, it turns out that his letter from Abe Lincoln is worth a small fortune. Pretty ironic, huh? Jake spent his whole life searching for gold when all along he possessed something far more valuable. Why are they acting like he was poor? He owned his own train. Why? <laughs> Poor Jake, he only had the one train. <laughs> hey, sassy detective, congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of... Candy Dancer. Or Gandhi. What's that, what does that say? <laughs> For being such a whiz when it comes to dancing. I don't like it when it gives me awards for doing stuff that you have to do. I had to dance. You saying I didn't do anything else worthy of anything? You have to do that puzzle. Have you ever been to Paris, France? Well, We've done will, this one. Because that's where my next mystery adventure It was ridiculous, but I loved it. The assistant to Minette, a famous fashion designer. I'll be working undercover to find out why she's been acting so peculiarly. Throwing tantrums, firing people. She's even started wearing a mask for no apparent reason. Her studio is in this I did not realize the these games were one after the other that's though. How did they go from Blue Moon Canyon to to danger by design? Help me solve my next case. Danger by design. A la prochaine. <sighs> Loved it. Loved every second. It didn't take me that long to do this one. I vibed with it. Except with that last puzzle about taking down the planks. I did not want to do that. Okay, what game am I actually playing next? Let's put this on and then... Okay, not, none of my screens were working except that one, but it's actually... One sec, let's try and get it... There we go. <laughs> One of the shorter ones was so good. Yeah, the puzzles are elite. So is uh, so are the puzzles in Danger by Design. Those puzzles, I loved them so much, but the story was just, it was something else. Uh, I think my next stream won't be until Wednesday, but I want to see which one I'm playing next. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's the creature of Kapu Cave. Which is a uh, not 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 a fun one. Not one I enjoyed, but I do remember it has well it has the Hardy Boys. And they they do make the games fun. It does have some all right puzzles. It's not the worst. But creature of Kapu Cave it is. Let's uninstall Blue Moon Canyon and install Kapu Cave while I'm here. There we go. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm sure you can't wait either to watch me play a game I've just already called terrible. <laughs> Hyping up my stream.
it's not as bad as Midnight in Salem, I don't think. I'm happy to be here. Oh, good. I've not played Kabu Cave yet. It's a game. Yeah, it's a game. It certainly is a game. I'm looking for somebody to raid. So, yeah, we'll be back. Um, Wednesday. We're going to raid Spooky Sleuth, who is playing Tomb of the Lost Queen, which is the first Nazi Jew game I streamed. Uh, thank you for watching, Charlie. Uh, and I think Anya and Serotonin Bears are watchers, I, th I believe. Um, so, yeah, go and say hello, fellow Nancy Drew streamer, Spooky Sleuth. Bye! Boy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Paul. Bye.